Hey everyone, it's Jenny Civy. Last week I did an overview on HVAC systems, but you can't talk about HVAC systems without talking about pressure. So let's do some overview on pressure basics. Airside pressure and water component pressures use different terminologies, so let's start with airside. <music> So pressure is what makes air flow through the ductwork. There's a relationship between pressure and airflow, and you need to know the airflow to make everyone comfortable in an HVAC system, so pressure is pretty important. Let's start with the basic pressure equation. Total pressure equals static pressure plus velocity pressure, or TP equals SP plus VP. So let's draw some ductwork and put a fan here blowing air down our ductwork. When air moves down the ductwork, there are two types of pressures going on. Static pressure, which is exerted in every direction, and velocity pressure, which is only exerted in the direction of airflow. The sum of these two pressures is total pressure. The thing is, velocity pressure is hard to measure directly because there's static pressure in the direction of airflow as well. So we usually use total pressure and static pressure to calculate velocity pressure, or VP equals TP minus SP. So let's make some room and look at how we measure pressure in our ductwork. A pitot tube is used to measure pressure. A pitot tube is a tube with a hole pointing in the direction of airflow that measures total pressure and a hole pointing perpendicular to airflow which measures static pressure. It's basically a tube within a tube. So total pressure is measured in here, and the static pressure reading would be measured from the top, and then you would connect your pitot tube to a manometer, and if you imagine air that came in here would be measured at this connection, and the static pressure that come through here would be measured at this connection, and then the difference between these two is velocity pressure. You can also take the static pressure measurement on the back side of the flow sensor opposite of the direction of airflow. Velocity pressure is important because knowing the velocity pressure allows us to calculate the velocity. So the equation for velocity is velocity equals 4,005 times the square root of velocity pressure. And if we know the velocity and the area of the ductwork, we can calculate airflow because the equation for airflow is CFM equals area times velocity. Let's plug in some numbers here. Let's say our total pressure is 0.75 and our static pressure is 0.5. 3. The velocity pressure is total pressure minus static pressure, so that's 0.75 minus 0.3 equals 0.45. So velocity equals 4,005 divided by the square root of 0.45, and that equals 2687 feet per minute. Now let's say this is an 8 inch round duct here, so we can calculate the area. So the area of an 8 inch round duct is pi r squared, which equals 50.26 square inches, and we need to convert that to feet, so divide that by 144, and we get 0.35 square feet. So now let's go over here to our CFM equation. CFM equals area, 0.35, times velocity, 2687 feet per minute, and we get a CFM of 940 CFM. And that's how pressure and area are used to calculate airflow in an HVAC system. These concepts will come up frequently in future videos. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.